This is a review of the Emoki 48 color watercolor paint box. As you can see, it comes in a very nice hard cardboard box. It has magnetic closure so that you can reuse it. It's supposed to close back tightly, which it does. Inside of the box, we have the brushes. The water brushes appear to be pretty decent quality here. This one's probably a little fluffier than I would like in a brush, but it'd be great for washes. Um, these look like they'll be serviceable, but you know, obviously they're not the best quality uh, watercolor brush. I uh, would not expect something of, of a super high quality in a, a economy set like this. Now the watercolors themselves, they come in a very nice tin. And yes, it does close tightly. We have mixing areas. And then here are the colors. Now one thing that I would like to note is you can see that the metallic colors, um, they really don't look like these others. Uh, in some cases they're not very full at all. Uh, they look rather messy. Now I did contact the seller about this and they did make me aware that because of the manufacturing process the uh, metallic colors are a little bit of a challenge for them right now in getting them to be evenly poured. Uh, they assured me that they are actually working on this problem. Now I don't see that as any reason to take anything away from this set um, because the metallic colors are still going to be usable. It's just that there's kind of ugly looking and in some cases you might have a few that are not very well filled. Now the box does have a thumb hold on the back so that if you wanted to go outside or if you're a person who stands when you paint, you can easily hang on to it. Also included, uh, looks like a color control card, but uh, honestly, I, I don't think that you'd want to use this because on this side, there appears to be a little bit of ability to put, you know, a watercolor paint on it, but the side where they're saying to do the testing, it's, it's a high gloss card. So this would not be uh, a best choice for doing your color swatching. I'd recommend that you color swatch on watercolor paper that you're going to be using. Uh, we also have a user manual and some watercolor paper. Let's look at this. Now, the paper is, is somewhat thin probably about maybe 90 pound. Not sure how it will perform. Um, I'm going to test that out shortly. Uh, but for this video, just wanted to give you an idea of what's included in the box.